So at the start, definitely over-prepare. Yeah. Don't feel like you can just wing it because you're good at speaking and stuff like that. Definitely over-prepare at the start um, in the first few episodes. Yeah. Then I'll be honest, it, it's really subtle, but it makes a real difference. And that is asking a question and being silent. It's a lot harder than you think. <laughs> and you don't realize uh, that you do it. So if you recognize that and get better at asking a question and being quiet, let the other person speak, that will make a real difference to the listening experience. The other thing is just, I, I'll be honest, I don't listen back to the podcast episodes that I do. I just, I've done so many now, I have a real good grasp after if it was a good one or a bad one. But at the beginning, I did listen to them a lot because I wanted to improve. And by doing that, even though I didn't really enjoy listening to the sound of my voice, <laughs> um, you pick up on things you don't realize that you do. So I'd ask a question, you'd be speaking, and then to make you feel like I'm listening, I'd I'd either go, yeah, yeah, mm -mm, mm, yeah, like that. And I did that a lot, and I didn't even realize I was doing it. And it definitely affected the listening experience. So you have to, yeah, be willing to sort of listen back and improve. But I'd probably say if you get really good at asking a question, being quiet, if you get really good at just being quiet whilst the other person is speaking, that's good. <laughs> uh, so, and then also, I think the other the other tip that you have to get good at, and I think you only get good at this by doing it, is you have to control the conversation. If you feel the person is really going off on a tangent, then you have to reel them back in. 